time for us to be heroic here today. Thank you for tuning in. As always, we have a Boros heroic list. We'll break down what exactly does that mean for you here today. We'll walk through the strategy objective of this list. We'll go play that competitive magic as we always do and pull it all back together. Those timestamps are available to you down below. You can check those out. And additionally, if you got a question or comment throughout, do let me know because I'd love to hear from you as always. So here we go. Boros heroic 50%. So essentially heroic's been around since Theros. Essentially what that means is anytime that you target your creature, something's going to happen, usually a nice benefit. And in this case, we do have a few different things like Illuminator, Vitroso, or, uh, Virtuso here, um, where it's got Connive. Additionally, here we got Progress with Monastery Swiss Sphere um, and a host of other targeting things. We are really only running three creatures, Illuminator, Monastery, and Charming Scoundrel. Um, so very, very important there. Additionally, this list does not have, oops, sorry, we forgot about the Cacophony Scamp here as well. This thing, when it dies, you may sacrifice it, or sorry, when it deals combat damage to the player, you may sacrifice it. If you do proliferate, when it dies, it deals damage equal to it's powered any target, so making this thing bigger can be very, very nice um, in a go-over-the-top ability and uh, double up as well. So really one, two, three, four creatures here. Everything's under two. This is a very aggressive list for you to use. I'm excited to play it because it does run a 50% plus in terms of win rate, and I like the aggro style. Um, additionally here, a lot of interesting things. Um, good interactions, at least at instant speed, sorcery speed, lots of benefits here. Monstrous Rage is all the rage. We have Antagonize here, a 4-3. Um, we also have a 3 plus 1, giving us good, good ability to exile a top cover library. Uh, card advantage here until next turn, and a very next turn. Um, Additionally here, Charming Scoundrel and Stolen Vitality. Um, so lots of things that we can use and leverage here to really put the pressure on um, in our aggro manner. Again, nice upgrades uh, from Wilds of Eldrain here, particularly with Charming Scoundrel um, as one example. So with that, um, strategies put the pressure on your opponents. Ideally, too, I would say you're probably going to want to have a fairly uh, aggressive mulligan strategy. Two lands is just plenty. One of each is great. Um, primarily, you just need to make sure you have a red. You're really splashing for these two in white. And then additionally, on top of that, um, being aggressive for a creature out of the gate is going to be important. And then just keep pressuring uh, your opponent. So that's really the strategy objective of this list. Let's go play that magic. Again, questions, comments, let me know. And come swing by the Discord server. You can ask in there, say hello. we got a great active community. Um, thank you to everyone there as well. Standard ranked, Boros Heroic, best of one. Let's go. <laughs> As always, we've got swag and other great ways to support the channel, so thank you, appreciate that. Likes and subs, we go first, this is a great play. We got our white as well. Lots of ability to win, essentially there, as we like to say. Ooh. We could go here or here. I'm going to use the Scoundrel, I think, first. Ah, uh, Wicked Roll. Let's see if they kill it. Nope, we're good. So this guy would have been good to keep. Ooh, we got Salta in here. Now we can keep the pressure on. Let's try this one, see what we get. Now, again, we're at six there. Another creature's going to gain trample. We'll go here. See if they'll kill this thing out of the gate. There it is. So that left this board open, which is one of the reasons why I did that. Um, let's get rid of this one. Because I like Monstrous better here. First touch 
death touch. Oh, question is, can we make this work? Um, depends is the answer. Depends is the answer, my friends. Um, we get two things out, we're in trouble. Uh, we can gain plus two, plus zero till end of turn. It's not going to be quite enough. Let's do create a wicked roll attached. They not quite there. Two, three, maybe we would have got it. Maybe we would have got it on math. Math is bad and good at the same time. Now we're in trouble though. Now it doesn't have direct burn either. Oh, here we go. Now we just need to get four through. <coughs> so we'll see what they do here. Drains them by one. No dream, because that was the trample one. No more distractions. Let's make so we are going to be okay here, because <laughs> we'll have lethal, ideally. that one and this one there we go and boom yeah yes 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 nice recovery there because I think we did actually have lethal a little bit back there um, and we made it work yes maybe not it would have been close maybe we're at one but we still got it through very very nice on to our next one here so as you can see that thing can be very very explosive um in terms of a list All right david mcbuckeye uh we can keep this Not having a red slightly hurts us, or white, I mean, slightly hurts us. We will play uh, this thing first, though. So we want to get that additional creature out right away. Ooh, we need that. There it is.
We need a... We did not get it. We need a... Did not get it. This would be great. <laughs> would have been great. Now, when this thing dies, deals damage, power to any target, we'll take Calyx off. Right there. Clear the board, my friends. Still no white. It's a problem. That is a problem. What do they have? Oh, ramp. Ramp, card thin, whatever you want to call it. It's not really ramp, it's just card advantage. Uh, cantrip. That we don't have yet. We we need. There we go. Fine, could have kept that. Here comes this loyalty. Ooh. We'll start dealing some damage uh, if we want to. We don't need to there. No trample, so it would have been a waste. We'll play this. There we go. here. Let's see what we get. Let's discard that one. Now we can get this up even larger. Uh, if we want to, we can get more through with that as well. Let me think here. This will add two more, three more. I think we're good with this. Eight, sixteen. There we are, my friends. Nice and powerful once again here. This time against Selesnia. Very, very nice. Yes. Good match, my friend. On to the next one here. Third and final one with our Thurwis Heroic. Let's go. Cosmia. Cosmia? Cosmere. All right, this time we have white, no red. Um, we can try it because we have this. <clears throat> A little risky. It's okay, we'll see how it goes. Painful <laughs> is what's gonna happen. Mono red, we're off on our color schema. Probably gonna pay for that.
Yeah. Who is it? Gavin, is it? Ooh, more than that. Beamer. All right. Beamer friends here. Ooh. Ooh. All right, if they blow through us here, they're good. <laughs> nice explosive teamer list. Kind of similar, teamer heroic. Versus Boros Heroic. Let's see. Do they have lethal is the question. Ooh, a smart move. There you go. No blocks. They're gonna hit it again. I'm assuming. Yeah, there they go. We would have been at one, and we would have been in trouble. Unfortunately, our last match there, we did not get the mana base. However, again, that's why it can be important to get one of each. Um, generally sitting, as we said at the beginning, white is going to be the one um, to worry about. But in that case, we worried about red. So let's pull it all back together. Very, very happy with today's results. We saw the explosiveness of this list. We got to play a lot of different stuff, which is great, um, and see how this thing holds up. We got to see pretty much everything. Um, in this list too, which is great as always. So with that, I hope you enjoyed today's episode here for Boros Heroic. Um, and on top of that, if you got a question, if you got a comment, like I say, let me know. Come swing by the Discord server. Um, additionally here, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I appreciate your likes and your subs as we grow an amazing community here. On top of that, as always, thank you to all the members. Um, we have great ways to support the uh, channel down below affiliate links, all that stuff if you're looking for cards, um, another additional way, plus our memberships um, and other great ways to stay in the know. So thank you for that. Um, hope you enjoyed today's list. Boros Heroic, I certainly had some fun and I thank you all as well. So may your Boros be heroic for you as always. And with that, we'll see you again soon. Until next time, Mithras out of here. More magic coming your way. Take care.